Hi guys, it's Harry again. Um, I was going to show you how the ferret and purse nets uh, worked and how to set them up outside, but since then uh, I've had a couple of things I need to do because uh, I had to wait and I had to wait for my camera to charge, and that's why I'm having to do a second video, video rather than carrying on with the first because the camera ran out of battery. Um, so I'll just quickly show you how. It, how they work and I can do a proper one outside maybe tomorrow if I remember. I'm just going to put the peg in the vise obviously because I can't put it in the ground up in here. And that allows me to demonstrate how it works because the peg, I'm not holding the peg and it allows it to stay stay put. So it's, uh, it's in the vise Um. Essentially, it works because the white edge is attached to the peg, as you just saw, and it runs round the edge of the net, back through the end loop, and then that's how you tie it up. But the green, the actual net part, this part, is um, attached to the two rings, so it can't move. And that allows it to tighten up and close, like a purse, and that's why they're called purse nets. So if I just, and to set it, you just open the net, like this, oh this one's a bit, it's getting caught on the work top, I can't show people because I'm unlimited in my room because it's a very small shed, I've only got, I've got about three feet, three feet wide by about six foot long, that's all I've got. I can stand in and then I've got the workbench which is about two feet if I'm lucky wide. Um because I've got the oil tank in here. I um so you'd set this over the hole like that with the two edges so the white one either side the white band you put then put the end peg the end loop that's not close to the peg down the hole um which which helps helps it work. I've been told it it does work with the pig outside. If you can't get down the hole, or it gets tangled. There's there's something in the hole, like a root that it tangles on. You can leave it out. It works the same, but apparently this is more effective uh, and you know, more likely to strike. Um, it works because, as I said, because it can't move. So the, if I hold here, the rabbit will come in. I'm, I'm going to pull rather than pulling through the net. I'm going to pull the white cord. To allow me to demonstrate it better, um, the rabbit will jump in, and as it jumps through, I'm pulling the cord instead of, but it will jump through. It closes like that, and as you can see, it creates like a purse, so the rabbit can't get out, and it will close right around it. And then you can catch it, either take it out the net and dispatch it, or dispatch it in the net, depending on what method you're using and how easy it can be done. To put your nets away, it's really quite simple. Make sure they're untangled. This one's a little bit tangled, and I haven't got the time to do it right now because I'm filming and it can take a while. But it's 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 pretty good. It's just twisted a little bit. So if you take two ends, hook one finger over this end, and take the other loop and hook it over. Take it like that, and double it again, and take it and just literally just spin it up like that with the peg and you'll end up with that almost like a T and that you can either put it in the net like that but I, prefer, I just I just normally not always wrap it round or I think I can't quite remember I think I did it like that um, just stops it tangling so bad and you just pop it in and when all your nets are like that they shouldn't tangle unless there's sticks and things in there you know, in their nets they get things caught in them a couple of things that I've done today in the shed it's a bit of a mess um, is I put that cable there that extension lead slightly, uh, and then it runs like that over the door I'm standing in front of the light um, and I've and over the door and into that and it will go into that extension lead and I've mounted that extension lead up so it's not hanging in the way 
and I've added that shelf for the radio and the docking station just so it's not here which is valuable storage space in such a small shed um, so that's out of the way it's a bit wobbly because it's a metal bracket and I've only got the one so it wobbles bad a bit but it holds up it's fine um, yeah that's about it I'll, I'll see you soon bye